Hello there, and welcome to another photo adventure today with our Betsy. Um, I've just come out to local town of Bewdley. Um, a friend of mine has uh, asked me when and where I would use a 10 stop filter. Join me shortly and I will show you. So today I'm out in Bewdley, um, literally just one photograph I'm after, um, so this will be a, probably be a pretty short video. Um, so a friend of mine has asked when I would use filters and 10 stop filter in particular. And I was talking to him and I said mainly just for sky. I don't like using it for water because I find it uh, Hang on a minute. I find with water, it tends to just go a really milky mush and it looks awful. But for clouds, if you can get 30 seconds or maybe a bit longer, you can get some beautiful blurred clouds and they look fantastic. So there's a little shot I want of the bridge looking up towards the church and join me in a minute and I'll get set up. So first thing to do with using a 10 stop stop, a 10 stop big filter like the, the big stopper or something, is to work out your shutter time. Um, to do this there are a number of apps you can readily get on, um, on your phone, on Play Store or whatever. The way I do it, I shoot aperture mode so that I can access the settings quite quickly. As you can see there, I've got ISO 100, F16, and that's giving me a tenth of a second. So what I then do is I open up the Lee Filters app um, on my phone. I'll just turn around and show you. All you do on the left hand side, you dial in a tenth of a second, and it tells you using the big stopper, 10 stop, what you should have speed is, and it is 1 minute and 40 seconds. So because it's over 30 seconds you will have to go into bulb mode. If you look at your manual for your particular camera um, it'll tell you how to go into bulb mode and you just literally set up then um, 1 minute 40 seconds and you should have a perfect exposure. First thing to remember before you put the filter onto the camera is pre-focus the camera then either turn the lens off or if you use back button focus just focus and then leave the back button alone uh, because a lot of the time once you put the big stopper on you can't focus through the lens so what I tend to do is I will pre-focus where I'm going to be in this case it's just going to be a third of the way into the scene just on one of the arches on the bridges on the bridge here and yeah then go from there so I'm going to clean the filter, another tip for you, before you put the filter on, give it a good clean. Uh, the last thing you want is a little bit of dust on the filter and it's going to show up on your image. So join me in a minute, I'll get set up and we'll try something from there. And just like that, the sun comes out halfway through your 1 minute and 40 second exposure. So that's going to be completely wrecked. Um, we did have a lot of dark sky dust, which is now gone. We've now got blue sky with broken clouds, so I'm going to have to reassess this and reset it up again. The shot is just blown out. Um, so bear with me a minute and we'll recalculate and we will get the shot. So I've got a shot here. Um, I don't think you're going to see the back of the camera because the we are pointing right at the sun. I'm going to move on to the bridge now and take a shot both up and down the river. Um, I don't know if this shot's going to come out as I expected because the sun has come out and it's just bright. So there's a there's a bank of dark cloud literally on the horizon line just above the buildings and then it goes really bright so it may not work this one. I'll put it on for you to see anyway if it turns out any good. 
but I'm now going to move up onto the bridge and try a couple of shots looking up and downstream the river. Uh, it's a beautiful town, this beautifully. Loads of character, there's lovely people here. It's, uh, it is a nice place, come and visit. Um, it's beautiful here, it's just beautiful. So join me in a minute and I'm going to go and move round and let's see if we can catch something without the sun in the shot. So I'll just talk you through this scene now. Um, what I'm doing now, I'm shooting manual and let me just get the settings up for you. I'm shooting ISO 100, F11 and that's giving me a 30 second exposure. Um, I'm using a two second timer as well, I always do on all my shots. But this is looking quite nice. Um, hopefully this little bit of cloud at 30 seconds should just blend in beautiful with each other. There's blues and greys, everything in the shot. It looks beautiful, it does. If it comes out any good, I'll put on at the end of the video with the, uh, the rest of the video, with the rest of the photos. So, I'm now just going to uh, cross over the road. It's uh, a little bit precarious here, the pavement's quite small. Um, I have felt the wind off a couple of cars coming past in a van. So I'm going to cross over now and take a shot from the other side now. This looks absolutely stunning, the sky up here. Don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up or not. But uh, on the back of the camera there's blues and greys. It looks fantastic. So I can't wait to get back into Photoshop and get this one edited. I think this shot, looking down here, will probably be the best one of the lot. Uh, it does look beautiful. So anyway, join me in a minute and I'm going to try to cross the road here. So here's the next shot, looking down the river from the other side. I'll just brought it up a little bit for you. Um, again, I'm trying to get 30 second exposure just to blend out the sky. I will just darken down so I can see the sky. Um, it doesn't look quite as nice as it did from the other side of the bridge, but uh, looking down seven side, is it north or south? Seven side north. It does look, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful little town. Uh, Hopefully it'll turn out it'll turn out all right, and I'll put it on at the end of the video. So that's it for today. Um, I'm hoping the photos are going to turn out all right. I think the one looking south is going to look the best. Uh, this looks quite beautiful here, looking north now, seven sides north. I'm going to have a little walk into the town and see if I can catch anything up here while I'm here. I'm not expecting to, to be honest. It is quite cool as well today, so. I may just, uh, just have a little walk around just to warm up and then head back home and get a cup of tea. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. Um, if you need links to equipment that I use, today I've been using the Lee Filters Big Stopper, the 10 stop filter. Um, Something you do get with this filter is it's like a bluey, bluey maroon cast to the photos. It's, don't panic if you get it, it's uh, easily correctable in Photoshop, uh, Lightroom, anything. Just click on the uh, white balance button, find somewhere that looks neutral grey in the image, click on it and it will auto correct the colour cast that you get with the leaf filters. Um, beautiful filter, there are loads of others on the market, case, breakthrough filters, Missy, um, they're all really good, do a better job, some do a better job than others at different things. Um, I don't use filters that much so it doesn't really bother me about getting loads of filters because I just don't bother. Um, I prefer to bracket and get the shots that way. Um, if I need a nice sky, usually for sunsets, I will bracket the photos. I find it better, I can merge them in better than using filters, so uh, it's just the way I do things and I'm used to doing it like that. So I'm going to put the photos on now. Um, leave me a comment below. There are links in the description to all the gear. Leave me a comment below as to, you know, let me know which one you like the best. And until next time, take it easy.